The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalo Valyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session of Virus and Cancer. Gale Salim Deli is my name. I'm going to be your guidance counselor for the year. Welcome to Upper Seat. I'm going to give you the overview of the program of Upper Seat. We are going to talk about the general presentation of the program. We are going to see the objectives, the expected competencies, and the previous knowledge. The general program of, of Upper Seat has five broad topics. The first topic has to do with understanding learning techniques. The second one is development of the learner's personality. The third one is the elaboration of academic and professional projects. We are also going to see the fourth one which has to deal with professional insertion. And then the fifth one has to deal with promotion of patriotism, multiculturalism and living together. Now, this is the first topic, understanding learning techniques. We have this first subtopic first sub that has to do with the work methods and techniques of study. The second subtopic has to do with preparation for class exams and competing examination. The third subtopic has to do with the management of examination and competitive exams. The second topic has to do with development of the learner's personality. And we have here one the first subtopic has to do with decision making. The second one has to do with self assertiveness. The third one has to do with the elaboration of academic and professional projects. We have the first subtopic of this topic, which has to do with Cameroon, foreign, foreign universities and professional schools. The second subtopic has to do with higher education and its realities. The third subtopic has to do with the methodology of academic and professional projects. The fourth topic has to do with professional insertion. Today we are going to talk about job search and self-employment. And then the fifth topic has to do with promotion of patriotism, multiculturalism and living together. And this one also has the first subtopic that has to do with patriotism. The second one has to do with higher education and its realities. The third one has to do with the methodology of academic and professional projects. After seeing those topics, we are going to look at the objective and the expected competencies. One, we are going to learn skills in order to study better. Two, we are going to master methods and techniques of study so as to be better prepared for examination. And you are also going to learn to be better organized. We are also going to prepare, we are also going to prepare you to enter into higher education or active life. We are also going to help you to learn how to develop project and also how you can acquaint yourself to the realities of the job market. And they were also going to help you to be effectively or how to effectively cope with professional insertion difficulty in the world difficult. So we are going to help you to see what to do. And they were also going to help you to reduce the rate of unemployment and how to be good citizens. We are going to talk about the previous knowledge. You know we are coming from lower city and in lower city you discuss healthy habits in relation to adolescent sexuality. You also discuss how you could identify those discriminatory behavior and how you could denounce them when you were in 
You also saw how to master and adopt behaviors that illustrate togetherness. So after saying that, we are going to start now with our first topic. We have to do with understanding learning techniques. What is that? This topic has the first subtopic that has to do with the work methods and techniques of study. And this subtopic has the following lessons. Time management, you are going to see it. Time management in school and time management after school. And we're also going to see the, the lesson that has to do with the techniques of improving skill performances. We're talking about the positive school attitudes. And then the other subtopic of this topic has to do with preparation of exams and competitive exams. This is going to be discussed in three lessons. The third lesson has to do with long term preparation, medium, and short term. And then after that, we are going to also see the next subtopic that have to do with the management of time, as we have already seen, already said, and completed exam. This one, we are going to discuss it two times. We are going to talk about attitudes during examination and attitudes after examination. <laughs> After saying that, we are going now to start with our first lesson for the day, which has to do with time management in school. Now, we have the plan for this work. We are going to see the expected competencies, the previous knowledge, the real life situation, the learning activities, the application exercises, and we will see the homework. So now, the expected competencies here, we are going to see how students will learn how to put priorities and how to balance their commitments. You know, students have so many commitments, how they are going to balance it, and how the learners, you, their opposite, how you are going to effectively manage your time, both school time and school out of time, school out of hours. So, this topic also, we are going to see the previous knowledge as we have already discussed how you saw those adolescent sexual behaviors. How you also identify those discriminatory behaviors and you denounce them. You also saw how you master and adopt the means that illustrate togetherness. Okay, we are going to give our real life situation. We are going to talk about a 17 year old student of upper seats. And this student is always anxious. She says she is doing her best to study at all times, but she is still failing. I think it again. A 17 year old student of upper city is always anxious. She said she's doing her best to study at all time, but she's still failing. And that while she's in class, she's doing her homework. You see, she's anxious, and while she's in class, she's doing her homework. And as she went on to see the Gala counselor, not only that she was received, but the Gala counselor asked her for, the, for her personal reading table, and the Gala counselor discovered that she did not have one. So now we are going to our learning activities. Here we are going to define some concepts. First one, we are going to define time management. We are going to talk about time management skills for students. How to manage time management, how to manage school time. The importance of managing school time. The disadvantage of poor time management skills. We are also going to talk about the benefits. That is the activity. I say we are going to see the, we are going to define time management, time management skills for students, how to manage school time, the importance of managing school time, disadvantages of poor time management, and the benefits of time management. Look at it, look at that diagram. What do you see? Time. You have time. Time management. You have to organize your, your task. What do you put as, as, as your priority? What do you do first to achieve what you have to do? What do you do first so that you will not be, you, you stay balanced? That is it. Time management. As we all know, they say time waits for no one. Okay. So, this is it. Time management. We're going to talk about that process of organizing and planning how to divide our time between different activities so as we in, so that we can be able, we can be able to work smarter and harder. I will say that good time management is going to help you to do more in less time. You know, if your time is managed, you'll be able to do more in less time. 
time management skills for students, what they want. First, we we'll talk about organization. Organization is very important. How organized are you? When you get up in the morning, what do you do first thing? What do you do second? What do you do third? And so on. So if you are organized, you see that you are going to be able to manage your time well and you are able to do well in school. We are going to talk about how to put priorities first. Priorities. I'm, I'm going to school. What should I do? Is it a time that I'm preparing to go to school that I should start to, to look around? Look what is not important for me. I have to put first things first. Class work first. Did I do my assignment? Everything you have to put priorities first. You have to set goals. If you don't set goals and as an upper six student, you will see that it's not going to be of help for you. You have to set goals. The main goal that you have now is to pass the GCE. So you have to set goals to see yourself through. What are those goals that you are going to set? Goals. The goals that you are going to set is how to manage your time well so that you can reach that goal effectively. Communication. Communication is very important. As a student, how do you how do you do? Are you close? Are you open with your friends, your classmates? You know that when you are open, you can share ideas, you can get also from your friends. And also you have to communicate with your teachers. You have a difficulty to communicate. Share the difficulties with your with your teachers or even with your guidance counselor. Planning is important. We have to plan our work. If we don't plan our work, it means that we are heading for a collision. So as overseas students, you have to plan your work to reach that destination on time. We are also talking about how to manage stress. Because as overseas students, you see that some students, they get sick on the way. Some students, they become weak. Some students, they lose focus because they cannot manage their stress. So as overseas students, we are emphasizing the fact that you should put your stress on that Control. This can be done also in a way that when you eat balanced diet, when you do some exercises, when you are open, when you are positive, you see that your stress is going to be managed. How can school time manage? We are going into it properly. We are seeing that effective school management is all about achieving right balances between your homework, college life, and free time. Free time when you are in school, what do you do? Is that a time for you to be discussing? Is that a time for you to, 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 to just lose your, 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 your balance in class? It is a time for you to look at notes, look at your friends' work, try to copy your notes well, try to see where you have, try to put the put things in order. But we see that to manage this school time effectively, we need to do some things. What are those things? We have to comply with the timetable that is provided by the school authorities. Some school authorities provide that. You come to school at 7.30 and you go back at 4. What does they say? 8 and 3.30. So all of this now depends on the school administration. The school administration. So how do you eliminate distraction for you to manage time well? Do you always study in front of the television which makes you to, which makes you not Focus, eliminate distraction. Are you that one who always want to play games? We are, involved, we are advising you, overseas students, to do your best to eliminate distraction. And then we're also going to talk about avoid procrastination by working on your assignments early. Working on your assignment early is going to be for your own good and for your own advantage because you are going to be on time. And you are also going to see that your production is going to increase. And we also, we'll also see that it's going to make you to, to work on one thing and another. You're not going to multitask, which will make you to lose your balance. You also have to set daily realities, goals, and tasks. I already said it. Do your homework. Go to school early. Concentrate. Be attentive. Take notes. Be disciplined. Those are the goals that you are setting. You set those tasks so that you can able to, to achieve what you want to do. You also have to, to program some revision or you read ahead of time during your video. Now we have the past questions of GC. You could 
download them so that your free time you will revise them. You will also we are also advising you to read ahead of your teacher so that you always feel confident in what you are doing. Now we are going to talk about the benefits. We have seen time management. What is it? What are the benefits of time management? One. You will feel more confident in your ability to get things done. You know, when you have time here, yeah, when you manage your time, when you see that you are able to get things done, you know that, oh, I'm ready for my things. You reach your goals well without you panicking. You are having your time in your hand. You also do what is going to help you to improve your self esteem. You have seen that self esteem is that subjective evaluation of oneself. You evaluate yourself and you say, I am worthy, I am prepared, I am going to make it. So when you have time management under control, it's going to improve your self-esteem. It's going to avoid meltdown. You know some students are always sick. They are always when you go to the sick bed, you meet them, they are always sick. Why? Because they have not managed their time well. So if you manage your time well, it's going to avoid this meltdown and for you not to be sick. You're also going to achieve your balance in life. You'll be, you'll be confident of yourself because your time is under your hand. You're also going to reduce your stress because you are you know that your things are okay. You're also going to do what you're going to also going to be more productive. Your school work will be better. You are productive, you know that my time is managed well. So we have, after we have seen the benefit, now we are going to see. What are the effects of poor time management of school? If you don't, if you don't manage your time well, what will you, what will happen? It's going to increase your level of stress. You see, when you are stressed up, when you are stressed up, you cannot do well. You will be disturbed. You will be distracted. And then it's going to decrease your production, your productivity. You will not produce. You will not be able to achieve what you want to achieve at the same time. It's going to lead to disappointing performance. You see, sometimes when you are when you don't manage your time, even you will not be able to do well in school. The program of school will have some setbacks, and so we are encouraging students to manage their time well. And then, if you don't also have this time, and it's going to lead to missing deadlines. When you don't, when you don't manage your time well. You will not be able to give your assignments on time. And what is it going to do? It's going to lead to this problem where you are going to have problems with your teachers. As opposite students, will it be fair for your teachers to always put you outside because you have not done your homework or because you are, you are not attentive in class? So if you manage your time well, it's going to lead to good performance. So now we are talking about application exercises. Now the first one is what is the student's problem? We have already discussed about our student who was always anxious, who was always not ready in class. The first answer is that she was nervous, she was anxious. You see, she's always anxious, and because of that, she does not perform well in school. And as a result of that, what happens? She does not know the study techniques. And because she doesn't know the study techniques, She's not able to do her various subjects. You see that our student is anxious. She will not perform well in school. She does not know the study techniques to use for the various subjects. And we are also seeing that she does not have a personal timetable. We see that a personal timetable is important to be able for you to know what to do first and what to do next. Now we are going to list some of the consequences or what will happen if students fail to manage their time problem? If you fail to manage your time problem, what is going to happen? The first thing is that you are going to be stressful. You are going to be stressed out. You say, oh, I'm not able to do this. I'm not able to do that. You start giving some health issues. So we are encouraging each student to put their time, they should manage their time properly. Sleep issues, you see that a well-rested mind will do better than a mind which is restless. So students are advised to, to have enough sleep so that they can rest well and be able to perform well also in school. Anxieties and other mental issues will be put into control if you manage your time properly. 
with more anxieties, how mental issues will be there, your head will be bumping. So when you manage to attend well, it's going to put these mental issues down. And then you are not also going to miss deadlines. You see that if you manage your time well, your deadlines will be taken into. You are going to have your things there. As even when you don't on time, you will pass your work on time. You have no problem maybe with your teacher when you when you, when your deadlines are maintained. So the second question is: we are going to list some various consequences, various or serious consequences that can happen when students fail to manage their time properly. What is one of them? One is that we already saw that their academic is going to have problems. Academic performance will have problems. You see that at the end of the, the day, you will not have done well because you will not put your time, you will not manage your time well, or you will not be performing well in your test or assignments as the case will be. You have incorrect decision because you have not managed time, you will be thinking, should I do this one first, should I do that? So when you, when you put time, in order, you are going to have, you will not have these incorrect decisions. You will not have dropout, you will not have dropout. So, 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 so before the end of the, the day, they have come for the year that will because they realize that they have so much to do and they don't have time. So we are encouraging students to manage their time properly. So now we are, we are the, the third question we are going to still ask ourselves again is what is this time management? We are advising you to say that time management is that art that we are going to arrange, organize, and budget our time for the purpose of accomplishing something within time, within time frame. Do you have an assignment that I've given that they say submit it in two weeks? Are you that type of person that will always have excuses that to give that work it will take you time? So time management is going to help you to accomplish this on time. The next one is that time management also is going to help you to have control over the amount of time you spend on particular activities. Or are you that person that you are you want to go to work to school, watch play, and spend much time there? No. If you manage your time, it will help you to see how you can be well organized and how you can be more productive. So we are also seeing, we are still seeing now, we are going to see now the advantages again. This is the fourth. Food question that I say we are still analyzing. It will reduce your stress level. It will help you to remain focused on your task, and that task is to do what to pass the GCE. When you manage your time, when you are going to be focused and you are going to achieve it, it is also going to minimize procrastination. You know, students like to procrastinate. Okay, I have, I have this assignment. I will not do it now. I will do it tomorrow. And because of that, you miss deadlines. So when you manage your time well, you are going to see that you have no problem of procrastination. You are going to. It's going to help you to increase your production. You see that when you manage your time now, you will see that you are able to score better in school. And so now, we see now, yeah, the fifth question is what are the causes of this poor time management? Poor planning skills. You don't have, if you don't manage your time, you're, you are going to have poor planning skills. You don't know what to do. Your things don't go well. The next one is that you are going to fall out of priorities. If you don't manage time, you don't know what to do first, and you don't know what to do next, and it's going to lead you to problems. And then you are not going to be unmotivated. You will not be motivated. You will not be motivated to do as you have to do. You see? So when you manage your time well, it's going to do what? It's going to help you to be motivated to increase your production. We are also going to talk about students who are frequently late. You know that some students are always late, not because they don't have, because not because of anything, but because of poverty of time. They don't know when to get up. And because of that, they're always late and they have problems in school. They don't have clear goals. Oh, I can do this anytime. So they have poor time management. We are encouraging students to have clear goals, what to do first and what to do next. And then you are also going to avoid problem of multitasking. You want to read this, you want to read chemistry, physics, or literature, or uh, uh, 
he should have been so when you are in your time, you know which subject to do at which time and which subject to do at the other time. And then now we are going now to put it together. We are going now to put this summary in. This summary of time management. We say that it is very important, it's a very important skill. It's important for every student to acquire this time skill. Because if you don't acquire this time skill, it's going to lead to your production to be to, to decrease. That is, it's going to be chaotic. You are going to, to have issues in life. So we are encouraging students to put this time management, to put to be time conscious. We see that intelligent students do not fail because they are dull. They fail because they are not managed their time well. They are procrastinating. They are not managed it well. So we see that they fail. And we, see, we are going to see here that any student can learn how to manage time. Time management is very important for students of Opasi. You need to manage your time well. Okay. Now, we are going to talk about, I'm going to give you a homework. This homework has to do with how does lack of time management affect students of upper seats that you have? How does lack of time management affect students? And the second question is how can we avoid procrastination? We have seen what procrastination can do. How are we going to avoid it? Okay, this work was done with the help of the Ministry of Secondary Education's Program of Orientation. 2020. It was also done with the help of the Educational and Vocational Guidance Concept and Approaches. We also use MALU AY 20, 20, 20, 2000 Guidance and Counseling for Beginners. So, we are going to say that we are going to stop here for now. And next time, when we come, we are going to talk about school. Managing of time out of school. We have seen what time management in school means. So how we have to organize our stay in school. We have to read our lessons. We don't need to use our free period to, to gossip or to disturb. We needed to put everything on time. We needed also to come to, to school on time. And so next time, when we come, we are going to talk about Extra Zabike, tam tam atonge, tam zabike, tam 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 amote, tam zabike, mane tambia niña ne injo biayen.